Good morning. Um, we're here in my makeshift workshop this morning, and uh, I just wanted to uh, chat to you about. We had a few comments on videos, and the last one that went out um, about the gates and about the path, and a few people said, you know, nice workshop and that, but. Uh, it is, it's a lovely space to work in, it's a big old space, um, as you can see, um, fair old size, probably about total maybe 40 square metres, which is nice, however, um, because these are old cattle sheds and um, all that, they, they tend to have very 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 uneven floors and uh, so what I'm going to do today is uh, just have a quick sort of look around and as you can see it's a proper tip which is another thing uh, and is it Sunday and we don't do a lot of using power tools on the Sunday just out of respect um, I'm going to do a bit of clearing up I don't mind that it's quite nice pottery one calls it if one's got a shed in england i'm sure all the guys and some of the girls probably know what pottering means just mucking about um, clearing things up takes forever it's really nice really pleasant clears the mind because we've got a lot to work to do next week so after the introduction, talking about the floors, you know, and these floors are stunning. I love them. I absolutely love them. However, uh, back from the health and safety days, these are a proper trip hazard. I'm not going to do anything with these floors, but this one here, which is covered in a tarpaulin and covered in copious amounts of sawdust at the moment, is dirt is a dirt floor so i don't know long, how long i'm going to be in here as a workshop but um i would love to put in a flat floor in here and i see lots of workshop tours and i love them i i really love looking on youtube uh, uh watching some of you guys out there um the professionals the the DIYers, the just the YouTubers, and looking at your workshop tours because I love it. It's you know there's nothing like it. It's looking at space, but as you see, a mine, it's a proper mess, and all this stuff has literally come from England, been boxed up, um, and I've made a few things you know just to put stuff on, just made those, nicked that out of the bar from one of the bathrooms. And I'm going to do a bit of a clean up um, and hopefully, and then I'm just going to go around and show you um, the, what we have to put up with in here at the moment. So uh, it was, it was, I was quite pleased with myself making the gates because I've never done it before, never done that kind of joinery before. And it's, and it's a bit of a, agricultural as my dear brother would say but it works and that's the that's the thing with me as long as it works and it's going to stay there for a while i'm happy i'm just showing you this the how high this goes up i would love to put in the mezzanine i'd love to have this as a little brocante or something similar but at the moment it's still housing a lot of our stuff as you can see Dear old Ted over there, he looks like he's a bit drunk. But yeah, so let's give it a go. Um, stick the other video on and watch me mucking about. And hopefully the maybe leaves will time lapse it or do something. Just things like me wood store, you know. This is all stuff I've recovered. Some of it, obviously the chevrons we've been using, but most of this is recovered. This is really interesting, I like this. This great big iron post. 
that it's obviously had something. It looks like there's something on there because that looks like a great big nut on the end there. Great big nut on the end there. And my tree stump here, which I like to call the elephant's foot. Don't worry, it's not a real elephant's foot. It's just a lump of wood. Riddled with lots of things. And it's incredibly heavy, but it makes a great doorstop. And it also makes a great chopping block. And there's my wee little chopping block behind there, which I found out of the barns. And there's a rather lovely lady, all dressed up. Oh, bearing in mind, it's about 20 degrees today, and she's got a woolly hat on and a scarf. It's cold. It's not cold at all. All right, we'll see you soon. Right, it's a quick shout out to uh, a company in Bognor Regis called Saxton Blades. Um, I ordered something, I, I messaged them, said, are oh, you delivering to France? Yes, they are, they came straight back to me. I ordered the stuff on Sunday, it turned up Wednesday of last week. Um, they do um, multi-tool blades, they do jigsaw blades, they do circular saw blades. It's all really, really fantastic quality. Um, uh, I've just put a, a new blade in, in my... Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Need one of their blades. There you go. Sorry, it's upside down, lads. Um, but a uh, fantastic bit of kit. Um, really fantastic company. I understand British company. Um, thank you so much, lads. It's a real lifesaver. You have got a customer for life. So normally you'll see me do sort of tool checks and th things, um, new stuff that I get, but this this here. And I'm sure there's a few of you in the audience will remember these. This was bought by my dad many, many years ago. I don't know how old it is. Please, if you know um, how old it is, leave me a comment. It'd be great to find out. My dad, God rest his soul, has been dead for many years now. Um, but I remember him using this. I'm being very proud of the fact that he bought one and it still works. It's still a great piece of kit. Um, and I'm going to fashion some kind of uh, drill stand for it. Um, a little drill stand so I can use it, use like a, a drill stand remotely because I can never drill old straight unless I, that's why I brought a drill press. But uh, do me a favour, leave me a comment. All right, cheers. So here we are at the end of the day, um, had a pretty good day cleaning out the workshop. Um, I don't think if you remember what it was like this morning, it was pretty, pretty untidy, pretty um, not user friendly. Let's put it that way. So uh, we had a little clear up, and uh, let me show you what we've done. So. Uh, we're at the end of the day as I said um, and this is just going to quickly run through what we've done today um, just to have a look at uh, what well, I'm quite quite pleased with how it's turned out um, put my drill press on something a little bit more substantial um, clamp my nice vice to that so I can use that um, it's not great um, 
uh, but it will work for the time being. Super Jaws under there. But I just wanted to have a look at that. That's ridiculously different heights in the floor because it is a mud floor. Um, workbench, the one I made back in uh, in Norfolk, yeah, well, in, in, in Cambridgeshire. Uh, I'm pleased with that. It's, it is mobile, but obviously we can't use it here. So I've sort of made it static and it's fairly, it's not going anywhere, which is nice. Uh, but I can actually work it. I can actually use my clamping system on there. Um, and, you know, I made uh, some stuff with it yesterday um, on the bench. So one thing I'd like to say is here is uh, this is my little sort of hand toolbox. Um, I got my scribe in there, got my knife in there, got little measuring gauges, um, hand saws, um, set square and all that in there but i always like to have it open when i'm working and i can never find anywhere to put it so i've put it on stuff that i'm not gonna readily need at the moment and just left it open like that so i can get stuff and that makes me happy i quite like that um this little shelving unit here i nicked out the bathroom um, uh, nobody was using it various other bits and pieces I've got you know rags and, and uh, paint brushes and all that sort of thing this is a, a box that I've had for years and years and years this box and it's full of just bits I don't know what's in it I can't find what's in it it's just you know one of them things I'm sure you know it's like when you've got in your kitchen you've got a drawer in your kitchen and you open the drawer and it's just got everything in it that's kind of that what that box is that box is like that so um again three boxes of fox's biscuits well they're not unfortunately they're full of screws and bolts and washers and again bits and pieces um got some nails for me nail guns and various fixings behind there loads of fixings here a uh, tub of tools a little block plane up there made myself something that just just general general drill bits because you can never find them when you want them quickly so i just put, put them up there got me nice ones at the back so they're out of the way measuring stuff my vernier calipers um, again because i can never measure stuff properly my sandy box here my sand box i love my sandy box made it ages ago um and it's just full of sandpaper and sanding blocks and stuff like that and i'm sure you can read that on there what that says sanding please replace scissors because it is amazing when you live with the person i live with that things go missing would you believe i have a backup pair but don't tell her um the ubiquitous wd-40 various oils and potions uh, lots of filler <laughs> i need lots of filler uh, waxes and other things glues can't believe i can't i need some more glue i use that tight bond stuff this stuff here I had to have the green because they didn't have any blue but I've been on the site that I normally get it from and they haven't got any not even any not even the big sizes um, drill bits again router bits forging bits loads and loads of stuff and um, as you'll see Saxton blades again go on lads blinding place bit sad i couldn't find anywhere for me long clamps or should i say lee harrison's long clamps because most of them are his put some yes, got some stuff up there for there's me uh pocket old jig that i will undoubtedly be using an awful lot because that's how we make cabinets or how i make cabinets 
Um, bits and pieces underneath. There's lots of sundries. There's lots of wheels and stuff in there. There's my nice little uh, table saw sled that I made that will come in dead handy when making a gate. And other sundries. Little chair we picked up from a place in England and uh, reupholstered. 15 quid that was. Blinding. Table saw. Mitre saw. Benches. Benches from Screw Fix. I got two of them for 29.95. I think they might have had a mistake there, but they are so handy. This here, if anybody remembers of a certain age, hold on a minute. That is a proper workmate. Black and Decker workmate. See the thickness of that? Look at that. Look at the ply on that, mate. Look at the ply on that. Can you see that? Look at the ply on that. They don't make them like this anymore. And once upon a time, I'm sure I, I'm sure there was a Facebook like group, bring back the work, mate, because they make them now, probably in China, and they do make them. That and they, they they're like hundred and something quid. They're a load of money, but it's bamboo on the top. And I bought a new one, two actually, and the tops were bent. They didn't even clamp correctly together. I bought this one off some fella off of eBay for about 40 quid. It's great. You know, it works really well. Variable height, clamping. I don't remember it having short, short screws on it. I thought they just opened up all the way but I don't remember that but maybe he adapted it in some way but it's it's you know so if you want to clamp bigger stuff you have to sort of fiddle about but um anyway I digress I keep wittering on as usual one thing I'm very very proud of and if I take out of today I'm very proud of and hopefully you'll be able to see this because the light is getting a little bit dark is I wanted somewhere to put me clamps and I've got a few. I haven't got many, many, but I've got a few. But I found, would you believe, this wonderful clamp stand. I've still got room at the top for more clamps. But it works really well, and it's one of the old ladders. And it works fantastic. And now I've got all my clamps ready to hand instead of in a box. And you're trying to f find them and go through them and try to get the right one and and everything like this. My beloved Lisa says, why have you got so many clamps? Well, anybody that does this lark that I do, DIYing, as a workshop, any of the professionals, I'm sure, will tell you, you cannot have enough clamps. And you clamp, you can use them on anything. We use some of them to hang the washing out. Oh, that was all right. It's like, it's good that you've got so many clamps because we can hang the washing out. But I'm very, very proud of that. I think that's brilliant. And that works really well. If I could find something for the big clamps, I will. Um, I'm uh, I'm reluctant to put anything in these walls. And I suppose if this was a permanent workshop, we might do something. I stud the wall out, probably maybe even put a concrete floor in this mud floor. And that may well happen. We don't really know. It's, it's such a such a variable thing, this building. Um, I love this building. This, by the way... I'm not saying anything whose side this is, but I think you can guess. But um, it's it's both of us. I'm, I'm I'm you know I'm not being nasty or nothing. It's both of us. That's all our all our furniture and everything else. Still thing. Some rather large pipe. Don't know what to do with that. My actually my mate has suggested we could possibly build polytunnels out of it. Work that one out if you like. So that's kind of it. That's where we are. Um, still got to deal with this little bit of 
uh, timber that's all sort of offcuts and and stuff with the we've used uh, to make the gate and stuff that we found in the house which I will deal with maybe tomorrow I don't know I think I've got stud walling to do tomorrow so that was my little workshop tour um, just to say that's what we've done cleared it up uh, it's good because I can actually work in it now um, and uh, won't have to go hunting for things in boxes and chuck boxes and cuss about the fact that I can't find things and surely that's not come from England and where everything has come from England. Um, today, by all accounts, is, is, is mothering Sunday in France so it's even nicer that we didn't use any power tools and uh, we just potted about in the shed and uh, had a very good day and I'm very pleased with what we've done today. Um, I'm now off to have my bath. All right, see you soon.